With a sigh of relief, we can now safely say that we are all done with the income tax activities such as investment proof submission and claiming our tax-free allowances for the financial year. Now it's time for employers to issue Form 16 to its employees. This certificate contains the statement of income paid to the employee, tax exemptions provided, as well as the relevant taxes deducted and further remitted to the government. Also, it has detailed information about the manner of calculating income as per the income tax laws and tax payable on it. Form 16 generally has two parts Part A and Part B. You can now download both Part A and Part B files from the tracers. Part A consists of the summary of the income tax paid, taxes deducted and remitted by each quarter and by month. Part B has the summary of the salary paid. By using Great HR you can upload and merge Part A and Part B documents. Generate Form 12BA and Annexure File. Sign Form 16 documents digitally and publish to your employees. So let's see it in action. Navigate to the Payroll, Admin and Form 16. Before we begin the process, we must first understand the prerequisites to generate Form 16. Employee salary details and income tax details are updated correctly. Ensure there is no mismatch in the employee pan to avoid error while uploading the Form 16 Part A to the Great HR application. You will also get an error message if any of the employee span is not updated. Click here to view the employee details. Navigate to Employee, Information and Employee Profile page to update. Ensure that the perquisite components are also mapped for Form 12BA. If not click here and map the perquisite item and save it. Most importantly, make sure you have downloaded the Form 16 Part A and Part B files of your employees from Traces and the same is saved in your system in PDF format without renaming the original file name. Also ensure, these files are not digitally signed from Traces to avoid error while merging the Part A and Part B files on Great HR. You can also click on the settings icon and choose the appropriate option as per your requirements. Select the financial year as one year preceding the assessment year. Ensure that the Form 16 signatory details are entered correctly. Also set the preferences such as Form 16 details and enter the TDS circle address. Enter the signing date. This will appear on Form 16 of the employees as the date on which Form 16 was signed by the authorized signatory. The generated date will appear on Form 16 of all the employees as the date on which Form 16 was generated. Else the current date will be reflected on Form 16 automatically. The Part B configuration and the Form 16 generation sections on this page will enable you to set up various options to customize your Form 16 generation. The tooltip will explain what each option represents. After making the customization, do not forget to save the changes. Now that we have done the setup configuration, let's go back to the Form 16 generation page by clicking here. Click on Generate Form 16 option to upload Part A and Part B file collected from Traces on Great HR to start the process. The downloaded Part A and Part B files must be in the PDF format and not renamed. Else you will get an error message while uploading the same into the system. If you are the first time user of Traces, click here on the below link to read the guidelines on how to download Part A and Part B. Also view the help section here if you're still looking for help in generating this documents on Traces. To start, click on upload file, then select your Form 16 Part A document from your system. Now you can see your Part A file is successfully uploaded. Click on the next button. On this page you can verify the details of Part A, such as for how many employees Part A is uploaded successfully. You can click error report file to check if there are any errors to correct, then upload the file again. In any of the wizard pages, you can download part of file as a PDF to verify its progress. Click next. Here you can use the upload file option 
to upload the part B file from your system. Now you can see your part B document is uploaded successfully. Click on next to see for how many employees part B file is uploaded successfully. Click on next to generate your form 16 document. A success message displays once the generation is complete. Click on next. Now it's time for you to sign these documents digitally. If you're signing the part A and part B file for the first time on Great HR, you need to download the Great HR digital signer. Click on the below video link to know more about how to install Great HR digital signer. Click here to start the download and save the file into your system. Open the downloaded file, click on run, then click next to finish. Once the download is complete, navigate to the folder where the installer has downloaded and double click the executable to start the installation. Follow the on-screen instructions to install the digital signer into your system. To open the utility, double click on the Great HR Form 16 digital signer on your desktop. In the login box, enter your Great HR admin credentials. The domain name is your Great HR account URL. The username and the password are the same that you use to sign into Great HR. Click here to log in. Insert the A token as per on-screen prompt. Click on refresh and select the signatory's name. Now you can see the batch details here. Click on sign. The utility automatically downloads, signs the files and then uploads them back to Great HR. This process may take only a few seconds. It may take more depending on internet speed and your system configuration. You will also get a success message once all the Form 16 documents in all the batches are signed successfully. Also the details will be visible on the sign section. Now it's time to publish the same to your employees. Click on next. On the publish page, select the status as signed. You can publish to the ASS portal or email the required employees. If you select the option email, you will get a pop-up with a sample email template. Click on the edit message to edit the template. Click on save and then confirm to share the form 16 document with the employees. Publish to the portal will help you to release the form 16 document to the ASS portal. Then click finish. You have the option to publish the form 16 document anytime from the form 16 page. In the publish form 16 section, the number under pending to portal indicates the employees for whom form 16 has not been published via ASS. Pending via email indicates the number of employees form 16 has not been emailed. Also, if you have skipped the digital signature part during the part B generation process, you can click on the sign out tab and these documents digitally. With that we come to the end of this video. Hope you will now be able to complete your form 16 generation process on great HR in an accurate and hassle free manner.